Hey guys, Scott here. I realized in the last video I did, I should not have done a video that was over you know, 25 minutes long at the absolute most. And that was my, my fault. I apologize for that. Anyway, I'm doing this other, this video because, well, why not? And, um, uh, I didn't say it in the last video, mainly because I didn't know that I was going to flip it around, that it was showing that I am left-handed, but it's flipped over, so I'm actually right-handed. Now, if someone was actually filming this, which they're not, like I'm doing again today, it would actually look like I'm right-handed, but I'm not. I have this on a tripod because I just prefer to do a one-man show, if you will. So, anyway, I'm going to uh, do a little shooting with my Cimarron 1875 Outlaw again and talk about a couple of things. And also, before I forget, so for Christmas, I got two boxes, once I can remember which pocket I put it in, two boxes of these, Total Ammo, 38 Special, uh, non-corrosive Russian uh, cartridges, and I just realized I got the box in front of my mouth, I apologize for that. I got two boxes of these for Christmas, 50 count boxes. It was either that or two 20 count boxes of hollow points, but they were the same price as these, so I figured uh, I can get two and a half times as many bullets for the same price, so that wasn't much of a brainer. <clears throat> Excuse me. Of course, I'm still doing uh, the um, reloads that I got when I bought my, uh, or rather when I picked up my handgun, and the weather's cha it's going dark and light and whatnot because it's pretty cloudy today. It is the 19th of January of 2022. I cannot believe we're almost a twelfth of the way through 2022 already. I spent up until yesterday, uh, late, uh, late yesterday morning in Phoenix with other family members because I went down there for Christmas and New Year's Eve, or New Year's, but <laughs> I wound up spending an extra two weeks down there, my mom and I. Because one of my brothers-in-law had broke his ankle on the 17th of December. And he had surgery done a week ago this last uh, Monday. No, two weeks ago this last Monday. Or, is it either a week ago or two weeks ago? No, two, a week ago this last Monday. So, I had to stay and help my sister with her kids, and anyway, so, oh, and I remembered, on the last video I did, I had tapped the muzzle of my gun before I showed that it was all unloaded. So, I'm not going to make that mistake again. So, as you guys can see, it is stupid lighting. It is completely unloaded, if you're able to see that, maybe if the thing will there we go I think so, okay so now that you guys know that this thing is unloaded I could go ahead and tap the muzzle of the barrel <sighs> so anyway I love this gun I remember when I was um, choosing between this and the Cimarron P model model P however you call it with a five and a half inch barrel I ultimately decided to go with this because of the longer barrel, and it's just a beautiful gun. Uh, no, I have not replaced the grips yet. I still have these wooden grips, and I think I'm going to stay that way for the time being. Although, I par I'm partially regretting, not that I really had a choice, I'm partially regretting not getting a long barrel Schofield in 38 Special. Um, the reason why I didn't is because those things are so expensive. One of those, at the bare minimum, is about two of these. I'm not even kidding. So, and I'm wearing the, uh, the, the gun rig, 
that I showed you guys in the other video, the Triple K gun belt and the Oklahoma uh, uh, leather uh, holster, which come to find out is actually longer than the gun. I'm not kidding. If you had yourself a butt line revolver like what Kurt Russell used in Wyatt Earp, you could stick it in this holster and I think it would just barely make it to the toe. They said it was designed for a revolver with a seven and a half inch barrel, like bare minimum, not the absolute longest. Anyway, so, and I made one little alteration to that since uh, my first video, I can't believe it's been almost a year now. Be It's been a little over eight months now, actually. Anyway, I poked two holes into the flap of the holster, uh, back flap, for a tie-down. I went into town, though, to get some leather. I, in the, one, the one place I knew of that would have leather, the guy was out. I'm like, just my rotten luck. So I just wound up doing it the redneck way, or my way, I should say, and I went with an old shoelace. I mean, what else could I use if I couldn't think of anything else? So, anyway, yeah, I keep thinking about all the stuff that's been happening, um, you know, the last couple of years with COVID-19. That's just been bullshit. I mean, and I'm not getting vaccinated, by the way. I refuse to get vaccinated because I could still die even if I get vaccinated. All you people out there who think that you're going to not get COVID or whatever, you're still going to get it and die. Or if you don't, you're going to die from the vaccine. And this is just all played out. I mean, and, and it's not just people like uh, Biden, Pelosi, Kamala Harris. It's not any of them who are doing this. This is the one world elitist who are too chicken shit, liver, I mean, yellow livered to uh, show themselves because they know that if they do, they'll be dead should be good so anyway they're the ones who release this with the help of China and this has just been bullshit I mean and so much they don't really care I mean you know all they care about is money well if they want to make money off of us why the hell do they make COVID I mean there's there's no logic to it I mean a lot of places have been shut down due to COVID and um March of, uh, I think March, March or April of 2020, a lot of things got closed down, like Broadway got closed down, All, no theater was open doing any of the musicals, not, not one. So it wasn't until October of last year that, and I don't just mean in, on Broadway, I mean all over the world a lot of theaters got shut down. So in October of 2021, you know, just this last October, uh, The Phantom of the Opera, which is the longest running musical on Broadway, uh, reopened. And two months prior to that, or the month prior rather, in uh, September, the show reopened in London. And then they were, oh no, that was August, I apologize. September they were going to open uh, the show in Australia for the third time with two familiar faces, mostly from London. And, uh, they had to postpone that because the Australian government, fuck them by the way, they decided to do another COVID lockdown, which was stupid. So they had to postpone it and hopefully sometime this year they'll be able to do the show, uh, this year. Because what they're doing is they're going to be doing Sydney. They say it's Sydney on the harbor, but it's actually going to be the Sydney Opera House. And, uh, thought I heard something behind me. And then I guess they're going to be doing the show in Melbourne, which is where it's predominantly been since 1990. Um, anyway, I'll tell you, the thing I actually like about going back to my past topic of, you know, shooting and whatnot... And the fact that I'm using a tripod, I love being able to use this thing because I'm using one of the braces for the legs for the carrying case for my tripod. And I'm using the handle to, you know, the, to swivel the camera 
around. I'm using the handle for my uh, headphones or my ear protection, I should say. I keep forgetting what they're actually called, but ear protection, ear muffs, whatever. So anyway, now I'm going to shut up. I'm going to load up my gun. Now, of course, despite the fact that I got 110 bullets, I'm still going to do the 114 technique. Now, you know, a lot of people argue about the safety thing on that. Hey, my motto is better safe than sorry. So, if I want to carry only five in my gun, well, by God, that's what I'm going to do. Nobody could tell me how many bullets I could carry in it. Okay, I'm going to put that in the holster for the time being. I'm going to take my headphone, my earmuffs, rather. And then, I don't know if you guys can see, you should be able to see that water jug, water jug, soda jug, actually, down a ways. That's what I'm going to use for target practicing. The thing is, okay, whenever I was doing target practice with 22 ammo, I would prefer, you know, soda jug, coffee can, or aluminum cans for sodas or beer but since i'm using you know 38 special ammo i think i'd rather do or i'll do the soda jugs i'll do the coffee cans but i'm not gonna do the aluminum cans anymore because you know i'd rather just the target be something bigger than what i usually use use for uh 22 ammo okay so oh and <clears throat> The biggest reason why my last video, or I should say my first video, took so long, and I apologize if it sounds like I'm shouting, uh, the reason why that video took so long is because I did not pause it or whatever before I shot, because it had been months since I last shot, and it's been months again. I mean, I have shot since I did my first video, but that was some months ago, so... This time I'm going to do it a little bit differently. I'm going to actually pause and then when I'm ready to shoot, I'll start the video back up. Because as I said in the first video, there's no editing in this stuff. What you see is what you get. So anyway, because I do feel a little nervous. And if my camera, excuse me, my phone seemed like it shook a little bit, it's because I accidentally lightly kicked the tripod. So anyway, yeah, I do feel nervous about shooting again. I am not used to shooting, which is something I really need to change. Um, anyway, so I am... Actually, I'm going to see how I feel about this right now. And if I don't feel like I'm ready to shoot, I'm going to put this on pause. And then I'm going to, you know, do what I did last time. So, or maybe I'll be lucky this time and actually feel ready to shoot. I mean, I've, I've been mostly used to shooting, because I've shot a couple hundred, like, no more than 500 rounds of 22 ammo, whether it be long rifle, magnum, shorts, whatever. So, anyway, yeah, I forgot just how good these uh, earmuffs are. I mean, yeah, that's why I said I apologize if it sounds like I'm shouting, because... You know, these things work so damn good. And for those who have not seen my first video, in case you're wondering why I'm wearing these instead of uh, ear, you know, those styrofoam things or even the rubber things that hang around your neck, I can't wear those things. They hurt my ears because earbuds, when I'm watching stuff on my phone or whatever, they just hurt the inside of my ears. So I spent the money and I bought these last year and these work a lot better, to be honest. I mean, sure, they're going to hurt after I take them off. That's just from the pressure of being against my head and against my ears. So, just need to make sure that these are adjusted properly. So, anyway, now I am going to get ready to shoot. And, of course, as you guys probably figured out, I said earlier that it's going to be pretty cloudy. I left out that it's also windy, but there again, when is it not windy when it's pretty cloudy? Huh? <coughs> Excuse me, I don't know what that was. And of course, like a lot of other good shooters, I'm going to 
Where to keep my figure? I have a trigger guard that's on there. And that figures. I'm sorry to feel nervous again, so I'm going to go ahead and pause this and then start it back up whenever I'm ready. Which might be after my first shot. So bear with me, guys. I'm uh, starting this back up real quick because I guess the reason why I feel nervous is because A, I've been primarily used to shooting 22 ammo. And uh, for some reason, I'm acting like I'm going to be shooting 44 or 45 or something. I don't know. Or 50 for that matter. Anyway, so um, you're probably wondering where my, where's my gun? Well, I slowly let the hammer down, and then I made sure that I, you know, I, I put put it back to half cock and made sure that the hammer's on an empty chamber, which it is. And I don't know why people say cylinder when they're saying chamber. There's a big difference between cylinder and chamber. Cylinder is the whole thing. A chamber is just something you put the bullets in. Like I said, big difference. So anyway, yeah, you can see the soda jug. And it's a three liter bottle, not a two liter bottle. So anyway, I'm going to uh, pause the video again. And then we'll see when I'm ready to shoot. So be back in a bit. Actually, one thing I left out. I'm nervous because of flinching. I mean, there's nothing here that's worth uh, hitting besides the bottle. But I'm just afraid of something ricocheting and the lead slug coming back and hitting me instead. I guess it definitely proves I got a conscience. So, anyway. Be back again. Well, I just fired the first shot. Good thing I decided to pause this. And... I also brought the bottle up closer, and I believe I hit it. Anyway, I also took this time while I had this on pause to take half the bullets in the box and put it in the loops on my gun belt. And uh, as you notice, I just took my jacket off. It was a little in my way with the bullets on my belt, so I had to take it off. Okay, now that I feel more confident... I forgot about the rest of the bullets. Excuse me. For being in my jacket pocket. Sorry about that. Like I said, I really need to do more shooting. So I don't feel so nervous. And I would imagine that I probably did a lot of flinching just then. I have no idea what that was all about with that one. I mean, it fired, but it didn't really make a sound like it fired. What is that? There's some stuff in this case, and I don't know what the hell that is. Definitely gonna do five more rounds, but I might do ten more. 
we'll see how I feel. Anyway, oh, by the way, the reason why earlier I'd said that I'd wish I'd gotten a Schofield is because, you know, those things are easier to load and reload, or load and unload, and from what I've heard, they are a pretty accurate handgun, too. And I just like the way they look. Uh, tell you what, I'm sure I'm glad I'm, I'm getting up my confidence in shooting again. Definitely need to shoot more. That goes without saying. Okay, so need to load up the next five. See how the how the selection of them all works. Steel cartridges definitely feel thicker than brass. That's a fact. I'm pretty sure I put a, uh, damn sure I put a big old dent in that bottle. I'll bring it in a little bit to show you guys. Well, that's gonna go to the empty chamber. Whoa! Oh! Hang on. Definitely a heavier powder load. Oh, these 30. I know these are, they say 38s, but more like a 357. And the reason why I went with 350, or 38 versus 357 is because it's supposed to be a lighter load. So I'm just gradually working my way up through the calibers, and hopefully I'll be able to hit, do 45 soon. We'll see. Okay, I just loaded up five again. Yeah, that's kind of hurting my knuckle with that recoil. One thing I should have taught myself a long time ago was, even if I was sure that I went through all five bullets, I should make sure that I did. And so instead of just firing it five times, and then he fired it six times. <sighs> no, it's all loaded, of course. You didn't see me load it again. So that was 20 loads, or 20 rounds. I think, uh, I think that's all I'm going to do. So I will be right back. I'm going to go, I'm going to put this on pause, go get the bottle and bring it back and show you guys. Be right back. <laughs> okay guys, I'm back. Yeah, so here's that dent I was telling you about. And that I'm pretty sure was the cause of dent. But yeah, I managed to put in quite a few holes in this thing. And, uh, that's pretty damn good. And when I said heavier loads, I meant hotter loads of ammo, or powder. So, anyway, um, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you and liked it. I hope you guys liked this video, so if you did, please hit the thumbs up. If not, go ahead and just hit the thumbs down button. Not many YouTubers, actually not a single YouTuber I know of has said something like that. They said hit the thumbs up button. <sighs> and they also said hit the 
subscribe button, but I'm not going to. This is my only second video. So, anyway, I am going to sign off on this video, and I will see you guys later. Bye.